Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting treat for all you photography enthusiasts out there. A few weeks ago, Sony announced its 50th full-frame E-mount telephoto lens, the FE70-200mm to mm F4 G OSS2. The new lens is an update of the 70-200mm to 200 mm F4 G OSS that was released 9 years ago in 2014. Let's talk a bit about this lens, look at its features and compare it to some lenses with similar capabilities at the end of the video. What you see at first glance is the smaller size. It's 15% shorter than its predecessor, making the lens easier to carry and easier to fit in your camera bag. However, when zoomed to 200mm, the lens barrel lengthens by 3.5cm. The FE70 to 200mm f4 macro G OSS2 is a compact, lightweight telephoto zoom lens that can be used in a wide range of situations. Not only does the FE70 to 200mm f4 macro G OSS2 contain high imaging power, high speed, and high performance autofocus that are unique to G lenses, this is the world's first zoom lens to offer half macro capability throughout the zoom range, with a maximum magnification of 0.5x throughout. In addition, with a teleconverter, super telephoto shooting up to 400mm and life-size macro shooting throughout the entire zoom range is possible. With a total length of 149mm and a weight of approximately 794 grams, the FE70 to 200mm F4 macro G OSS2 is a zoom lens that can be used for a wide range of purposes, including sports scenes, landscapes, wildlife, and even macro photography. Sony's unique extreme dynamic linear motor increases the autofocus speed by up to 20% during still image shooting. Tracking performance for moving objects has improved approximately twice as much compared to the previous model, so it continues to track the target subject with high accuracy. Focus tracking performance during zooming has also been greatly improved. When paired with the flagship Alpha 1 body, it is possible to shoot high speed bursts at up to 30 frames per second. In addition to a focus range limiter and a full-time DMF switch that instantly switches from autofocus to manual focus, the detachable tripod mount included in the box provides a sense of stability during super telephoto and macro shooting. In addition, the front lens element features a flooring coating, which makes it easy to remove fingerprints, dust, oil, and other contaminants from the lens surface. The dust and moisture resistant design provides extra reliability for outdoor use in challenging conditions and expands the freedom of shooting. Sony has clearly put everything into this lens, and it shows. It's compact, lightweight, has a very good build quality, fast and reliable autofocus, and impressive image quality. Perhaps the only problem is the correction for vignetting and distortion, but cameras handle that pretty well these days and now compare it with other similar lenses. While Sony claims that this lens is smaller and lighter than its competitors, the truth is that the Canon RF 70-200mm F4 LIS USM is smaller and lighter. But back to the Sony FA mount lenses. Actually, you can find older 70-200mm F2.8 lenses at this price. They may not be as sharp as this new F4 version, but they let in more light and offer a more lifeless background. Sure, they'll be big and heavy. The other wallet-friendly choice is the Tamron 70-180mm f2.8 D3 VXD. Currently available for around $1,200. True, the lower price comes with the fact that this lens does not have image stabilization. And then there's the Sony FE70 to 300mm f4.55.6 G OSS, also priced at around $1,200, which is a good alternative if you want a longer reach. That's it for today, guys. Tell me if you think the FE70 to 200mm f4 G OSS2 is a good buy, or would you prefer one of the others? Your feedback and questions are always appreciated. Stay tuned for more exciting content on this channel including more reviews and tutorials. And as always, remember to keep capturing those incredible moments and pushing the boundaries of your creativity.